Before we get into this latest story, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. The Mild Rover Oh, the Wanderer is back. It's a remark often directed at me whenever I return to Ireland. You see, some people in my birth country think that I am a full-time traveller. The main reason for this, I figure, is down to the place in which I've been based, crazy Colombia. Irish immigrants in the more popular locations, Australia, Britain, Canada, the USA, live abroad, but someone like me is a wild rover, to take from the eponymous song, although I'm unlikely to return with riches similar to those of the oft-remembered, unnamed Wild Rover. Now, while at times I think I'd like to rover regularly, the reality is that I've been more fixed than floating when it comes to moving around. Constant changing of my abode within Bogota over the years doesn't really make me a rover. Yes, mentally I may have never really settled in and on Bogotá, but my physical time spent there betrays this. Taking miles travelled as a guide, I wager many so-called settled folk in high-income nations have covered more ground than me since 2012, my first full year in Colombia. Or they've at least flown over more ground than me. Only this year could I justifiably be called a rover, but perhaps more of a mild one than wild one. For starters, I've had no fixed abode in 2024. January was spent with family in Ireland. On my return to Bogotá in February, an acquaintance invited me to stay in his luxurious, spacious apartment. March and July also saw me in a salubrious setting in the Colombian capital, apartment sitting for friends. In between, I had a total of a month in two separate stints, working in Palomino in the La Guajira department on the Caribbean coast, and when in Bogotá, I stayed in the box room of an acquaintance's apartment. It was a way of recouping money he owed me. From February to July, outside of my travels to Palomino, I also visited San Juan de Rio Seco, Moniquirá and Chocantá, as well as double trips to both Pacho and San Luis de Gaiseno. Since early August, I've been out of Bogotá, a largely unavoidable four-night return in the middle of that month aside. It started with ten days in Puerto Assis, followed by eight days in La Chorera. I flew to the latter via San José del Guaviare, which has been my main base for almost two months. From San José, I've taken in the nearby towns of El Retorno and Calamar. I do have a banking matter to attend to in Bogotá before the end of October, but I am not at all sure where I'll go after that. While there are certain things I miss in the capital, when I have no solid reasons to be there, well, I don't really want to be there, particularly when it means I have to house share. The cost of a private hotel room in the provinces is usually cheaper than getting a basic, unfurnished studio apartment in Bogotá, if one can be found, that is. All this time outside of Bogotá represents my longest stint away from the city while still remaining in Colombian territory. It's largely the result of, as one can probably guess, having no steady work mixed with much uncertainty as to my next move, and this is unlikely to change in the coming weeks. On the whole, I'm largely relaxed about the situation, a bit too relaxed, some may argue. That not having access to a kitchen is one of my main concerns shows that I'm not exactly at breaking point. Being able to cook, to have greater control over what I eat, is important to me all the same. It would also be nice to truly have my own place, but I will most likely never get to enjoy such a luxury in Colombia. Whatever about not being able to cook these days, there's a cornucopia of food for thought simmering in my mind. If only I could get a peso for each thought, then I wouldn't have to worry about sourcing gainful employment. My current wandering at least provides some relief in these wandering times. Being a mild rover does have a cathartic side. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If not, why not do so right now? It's free and only takes a second. Thanks!